All right, so as you can see on my Barnabas racer, I have the servo motors wired up through the breadboard. So I have the ground and power wires going into the breadboard with the um, signal wires going into pins 10 and 11 on the Barnabas noggin. And I'm going to go ahead and take my ultrasonic sensor and just place it right here. So you'll notice that the ultrasonic sensor is basically all by itself on that side. Uh, you don't have to have this side of the breadboard completely clear. You just need these four rows that have the, uh, the ultrasonic pins clear. Now I have four separate different colored wires that I'm going to go ahead and place on those rows. Uh, and I'm going to try and color code them to indicate uh, which wire is doing what. So the VCC pin of the ultrasonic sensor, which is essentially five volts, will get a red wire on that row. The trigger pin will get a blue wire. The echo pin will get a yellow wire. And the ground pin, the GND pin, will get a black wire. So the Black and red wires going for uh, power and ground are things that we should expect at this point. Um, we like to keep our wires color coded so that certain colors of wires are always doing the same thing. So this red wire giving the um, ultrasonic sensor power is something that is no surprise to us. Now what I'm going to do with the other end of this wire is going to stick it into this row here that already has several red wires. So because one of these red wires is going to five volts, this one right here is going to five volts on the Barnabas noggin, that entire row is receiving power. Likewise, I'm going to take this black wire and I'm going to find another black wire on the breadboard and I'm gonna stick it next to there. So because I've been staying consistent with uh, my colors uh, of wires, I know that black will always mean G and D. So any row that has a black wire on it should go to ground. Now my blue wire, which is supposed to represent trigger, I want to place on pin three, just so that I'm staying consistent with our curriculum. So we have trig uh, wired up to pin three on the Barnabas noggin, and then echo wired up to pin four on the Barnabas noggin. So right there. So I have pin two from earlier uh, when we wired together button, pin three, which is trigger, and pin four, which is echo. And that's that.